Hi, and welcome to another weekly update of Vacation Rentals on the island of Oahu. My name is Brian, a broker in charge of Holly Puna Real Estate. Pretty good week here, eight new listings here, a couple of pretty interesting ones. And then we've had six sold properties, three were cash and three were conventional financing. And quick note on financing, I just had a client going to escrow yesterday on a, a vacation rental in Waikiki, and he's actually getting a loan uh, that the rate is just about 7% right now. There's a credit union that's offering some stellar financing rates. So if you are interested in buying a property in Hawaii, there's definitely a, a lender out there that's offering very competitive rates at this moment that make numbers look work pretty well for a lot of the properties here. And with that, let's get started with this studio over at Kahuyo Village. Okay, this is a, a smaller studio, the smallest floor plan, 206 square feet on the fifth floor, priced at 320, has mountain views. Looks pretty, I've not been in this unit, it looks pretty cramped. Has a popcorn ceiling still. And just based on the comps, my opinion that this is a little overpriced, just due to the square footage and obviously uh, the way it's currently designed. But there's not much inventory on uh, the market at Kuhio Village right now, so someone might be willing to step up and pay this price, but I think it's a little, little rich. Next, we have this studio over at Palms at Waikiki on the third floor, 271 square feet, priced at 325, city views. So this is renovated in 2020, hotel furnishing. Another, just not quality pictures, just like this prior listing. If you're gonna sell your property, I highly recommend you make it very clear to your listing agent that you want professional photos. Often it helps tremendously, in my opinion, and many other agents I've spoken to about generating interest in your property. And hard to say in the data, but you know, the more interest, odds are you're gonna get the, the highest selling price. So it's definitely worth, there's, it just doesn't cost a whole lot of money for photography to really make uh, your property stand out when people are viewing your, your property online. Nothing really exciting about this unit. It's priced, I think, pretty, pretty fair. But the photo is just, I mean, look at that picture. And again, I don't know what, Anyways, but so, so there's definitely a lot better units than Palms Waikiki. You could probably, if you're patient, get a better unit, comparable price that might have a little better views as well. The Wana Waikiki, this is on the sixth floor, 390,000, excuse me, 390,000, 313 square feet, city garden views. I'm a big fan of this building and these units, but I just found out this past week that the association just passed this um, new rule that if you do not use the hotel's management services, you either self-manage or use a third-party management service, that your guests have to pay a $35 amenity fee daily, which, I mean, that is pretty significant in my opinion. So if your guests, if you're doing, again, self-management or have, you have a third-party management company and your guests want to use a pool, exercise room, they have to pay a $35 night daily fee I've heard a lot of people obviously aren't happy about that, which I don't blame the owners. They're very expensive. These are nice though. Uh, most of the studios have this identical look here with this large kitchenette area. Obviously you're gonna get some street noise from this unit, but I think it's priced pretty well. Pretty, pretty well. Another studio over at Luana, this is on the sixth floor, priced at 430, 313 square feet city garden views these are good pictures we get ocean view too there's kelahi waikiki shore right here yeah i like it and i think that's priced pretty fair Ritz Carlton, this is a, a studio, 447 square feet on the 10th floor, price is 630. 
If you have any questions on this property, just contact me directly. Waikiki Banyan. This is a one bed, one bath. Comes with parking, 533 square feet. On the 18th floor, price at 750. As you can see, not the best photos here. Haven't been in this unit. It looks pretty quality. It's priced on the high side based on the comps. But inventory is very low at Waikiki Banyan. And I wouldn't be surprised. I mean, I wouldn't want my client to pay seven fifty, but I wouldn't be surprised if someone did make an offer at that at that around that price. Uh, here's another one bedroom, one bath at Waikiki Bay on the twenty fifth floor in Tower One, seven eighty five. I do have a client in interest in this one. I just toured this property yesterday. Very well maintained unit, and these are just stellar pictures. This this is a this listing agent's excellent. He really knows how to market properties and did a beautiful job here, especially how they staged all this. I mean, just really nicely done, but nice tile flooring here. Um, all in all, the, the unit's in really good shape. It does have popcorn ceiling. This building does not have asbestos in the popcorn, so it's quite easy to remove. There was, there is a pretty big stain here in the carpet right here. I don't know if it can be removed. Um, but it is pretty, it is very obvious. I mean, it's smack right there in the middle of that floor. And I would say the views are better in person than these photos. And speaking to the listening yesterday, he expects one offer. He was expecting an offer either last night or this morning or today. Offers are being handled as they come in. And this is priced pretty, pretty, pretty accurately. My client who was interested, I, I mean, I would, I think 785 is, is definitely a, a reasonable price to, for this unit, this, these views and this uh, condition. So obviously this will probably be an escrow very quickly. Kulima States East. This is a nice one bed, one bath on the North Shore and Turtle Bay area. It's a ground floor unit uh, right on the golf course, 658 square feet. This is priced well. Another one just unit just like this just went in escrow very quickly. It was priced at I believe a million forty nine. So this is priced a little little higher, but nicely done unit. And again, very quality pictures. Kudos to the listing agent on this one as well. Got a curious wallpaper there. Nice bathroom. And I expect this to be an escrow pretty quickly. So moving on to Seoul, Kuhio Village. This is dude on the second floor. This, I did have a client who made an offer on this one. We got pretty close, but we got beat out by a cash offer. This was in and out of escrow three times. Last offer was cash and they closed within 12 days, really quick closing. And my client was financing, just couldn't compete, but had to be fully remodeled. Um, has some neat characteristics, but it, some challenges too is on the second floor right on the street so you're going to be dealing with a lot of street noise and where it was positioned on the second floor you'd have a lot of people walking by our unit to get to other units so it wasn't the ideal property uh here's a one bed one bath over at waikiki sunset on the 10th floor ten thousand dollars above list price that's not a bad price and those first two units were cash this is cash here ely kai on the third floor 66 days on the market, sold for 760 list price. Waikiki Banyan, 35th floor in Tower 2, the Malka Tower. Just below list price, sold for 850, 10 days on the market. Currently, the record selling price at uh, Banyan is $888,888. Two units have sold at that, at that price um, in the last several months. 
And just based on the market, that's a, that's a, a pretty good price, in my opinion. Going back to Ely Kai, another 500 square foot unit on the 14th floor, 17 days on the market, sold for 855. This is a really nice unit. I'm just gonna point out, they did a beautiful job staging, remodeling that unit. Then lastly, over at Ritz Carlton, this is a uh, one bed, two bath, 846 square feet on the 29th floor, sold for 1.385 conventional financing. There you have it. If you have any questions about real estate, looking to buy or sell, or just want to talk and get some market data, contact me anytime. I enjoy um, helping people achieve the real estate goals here uh, on the island. So happy to be of service to you. Take care.